Liz, hi! I haven't seen your name in a long time. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I don't know if you uh, know what this game is or know the storyline or anything. Uh, we are on the uh, Mizuki route currently. We finished the uh, Iris route a couple of days ago. Or a couple streams ago. I know Nauseam was avoiding stream because he wanted to play it. So, I don't know if you are also in that boat. Hi, Hobbits! How's it going? Good to see you here. Uh, so, there's been a couple of changes. Um, I... Let's see, what did I do? Um, so the stream boss is- Ali, you are an amazing streamer and I appreciate you. Thank you, Shipbot. Thank you, Hobbits. I really need to figure out how to turn, <laughs> turn that sound trigger down. Uh, that always scares me. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, so the stream boss used to be a blob. It was like a stream blob and you could fight each other, but now it is a donut. So for every uh, bit donated, every follow do uh, that is made, um, every dollar donation, you take a bite out of the donut. And once it goes to zero, it you become the new donut. Um, sadly, it does not seem to be different donuts when it goes to zero, which makes me slightly sad. But I also... Um, the reason it changed was because I was trying to put a cool version of a donate or a sub goal onto my um, on my stream, and it uh, looks like a hamburger. So, <laughs> uh, in order to get the hamburger, I had to switch uh, widget themes, and it, it just messed up a whole bunch of stuff doing that. So. <laughs> But it, uh, I'm trialing this for a little bit. If I like it, I might keep it. If not, I might change it to a different theme. We might, we will see. Because, uh, this is what it is for now. Damn it, now you're hungry. I actually just ate. I had the craziest day. So, um, I, I think I've mentioned before, but I have been absolutely obsessed with Sea of Thieves recently. And uh, I am gunning for Pirate Legend, which means becoming level 50 in the Gold Hoarders Trading Company, the Merchants Alliance, and the Orders of Souls. The Order of Souls uh, Alliance. I just hit uh, level 50 today in um, Gold Hoarders, and that is thanks to actually... Um, the, the Rad Nomad be, and his friend... Hey! Rad Nomad! Speaking of which, uh, he saved my ass today. So I was playing with um... I can't remember her tag name. is Sur Serve for Ice or something like that? Um, Other Alley. And so I was playing with her and we were uh, two man slooping and we were going up against a skeleton galley. We worked on this thing for an hour and it was still not sinking. And then at the very end, we ran out of cannonballs. We were running out of wood to patch up the ship with. I was literally going over to the ship and throwing water onto the ship to try and sink it. And it worked slowly, but then we got hit by a Megalodon. <laughs> and right as this Megalodon is handing everything to us like just really coming at us and killing us this angel just descends from above <laughs> and it's in the form of another sloop with an alliance flag so I got out my horn and I said please don't shoot at us please save us and uh, he did he helped us he helped kill the uh, megalodon and we allied and we finished our uh, gold hoarders uh, vault quest together. 
what game is that? That is Sea of Thieves, Belias. It is a really fun game, and I will actually be playing it uh, this Saturday uh, at the 11 to 1 p.m. slot. Uh, because, like I said, I am gunning for Pirate uh, Legend before the end of the week. The reason it's before the end of the week is because that is when the season ends. And um, there is a prize for Pirate Legends uh, if you get everything else in the season, all the different rewards. If you are a pirate legend, you get a figurehead that is from the Fairy of the Damned, and it's a really cool looking thing. It's like a, um, like a skeleton unicorn thing, and it's really, really neat looking. But uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to get there. Uh, so I've got one uh, trading company down, and I've got uh, just the Merchant Alliance and uh, Order of Souls less. So Merchant Alliance I have level 46 in, so that should be relatively easy to knock out. But I've been trying for the last three days to level up my Order of Souls any amount and I just keep on getting attacked by reapers, attacked by uh, like sloops or like skeleton sloops. All the different. It seems like everything is against me leveling up the Order of Souls. I cannot get it to level up fast at all. I think I've maybe only leveled one. I've only gotten one or two levels in the last three days. Because every time I get some skulls on my ship, it I get killed. It's been insane. But it is really fun stuff. And so, again, thank you, Rad Nomad, for helping me and Other Alley with that. Because that was an insane day. But it it's, it's, it's nice to actually find some kind pirates on the seas sometimes. You don't always expect it, but you always hope. That's why I always try to give uh, players at least one chance not to fuck me over. <laughs> because uh, mo most of the time they take it to uh, mess mess me up and then I die and then I rage quit for a little bit. But <laughs> I mean, I know there's many different ways to play the game, but generally... I. As, as a streamer, as a gamer, I'm very story-oriented, but I'm also a very competitive bitch. <laughs> so, I'm not the best at PvP, but I will try my best. Uh, if Because I live by the um, code of ladies do not start fights, but they sure as hell try to th finish them if they can. And uh, so I'm getting better. I am getting better. I, I did a lot of practicing of uh, catching the ladder on that uh, skelly galley that I was fighting for an hour. But, um, so tonight we are going to be playing AI Somnium Files. For those who don't know about this game, uh, it is an incremental play game. So there's a couple different save files, there's a couple different routes. Uh, we already finished one route, and we are now on the second route, which is the Mizuki route. Um, this is a very flashy game, so if you are someone who experiences uh, epilepsy or any kind of seizures from flashing lights, you may not want to watch this game. But I do appreciate you showing up today, so if you have to step out, that is absolutely fine. I appreciate you being here. But... Um, it is time for us to start a video game, so give me a second and I'll get us on over to the game. Alright. And just getting that pulled up there. Uh, so we are going to... Our, our main character is... Uh, hello. Danger Zone Jones! Hey, it's the other savior of the day! Thank you for the follow! Welcome to the stream! I hope you enjoy it here! Uh, like I said before, uh, this is a very flashy game. If you are someone who experiences epilepsy, you might not want to watch this. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit because it is a 
tad loud. Let's see if that works a bit better. That seems to be doing just fine there. <laughs> we vote for hobbits. Must not spend peanuts. Spend peanuts. Spend all the peanuts. Have fun. This chat is all about fun. We are uh, playing as the detective Date and his intrepid person who is... Um, fun, fun, fun thing about him, he is actually a one-eyeballed detective and his uh, prosthetic eye is an AI. So he... Uh, well, she's kind of sassy. Let's just leave it at that. All right, so I believe we are on file two. Uh, yes. You're trying to request a game? What game would you request? I'm trying to remember where we left off. We've got two bodies so far. I know that much. Uh, sassy but classy. Is that a game? I don't think I've heard about that. Right, okay, so we are in the Kumakura Gang's hideout. Uh, they are the Mafia. Uh, this is So Sujima. He is a politician. He is... We don't know what he's doing here. He probably should not be here. Alright. What are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. Uh -huh. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. Okay. Do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. That's our I AI. Do can't trust that. Uh, about Renju, the dead body that we found. The president of Lemniscate? Yeah, he's dead. We are dead. friends, but I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only That's saw creepy. each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. That's So Sujima, member of Congress. I see him so often on TV, it feels like I've met him before. So he's standing there looking rather irritated. Alright, uh, is there anything else I can look at? Gatling gun? Uh, that's quite the uh, positioning. Uh, yeah, I have a look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. That's a tiger. It is clearly a tiger. <laughs> uh, shelves. Uh, let's look at uh, Moma. What up? Um, about Shogo, the first body that we found. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding in now. I lied earlier, when I said I didn't know her. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoko was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. That was a movement. Alright, uh, what about Renju, the second body? I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. 
Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something... You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way, he paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. Hmm. Alright. Uh, do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Including Moma. That's a pretty solid alibi there. Uh, about Rohan Kamakura, the previous chairman. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. An I just want to talk bag. about it. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh... He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. I am a private eye. He's giving me a glare. About Shoko. The victim prior to Renju? I believe yes. Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. You're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Possible incoming phone call. Date, a call from Lemniscate. Connected. Date, it's is that me. reception. It's the boobs. Um, you remember, like, how I used to call you if I was a game. Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. We gotta Where track down Ota. That's none of your concern. Moma, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Sorry, says the grave. <laughs> Alright, let's head to Lemniscate. I love that car. I want it! <laughs> this is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree. But I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. That's what she uh, shows herself as. This is also Iba. Who are you? Who are you? Possible. How did a jellyfish get in here? <laughs> so shiny, too. <laughs> you utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Mizuki? It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then... Are you... Mom? <laughs> you must have increased your dosage too much. Dosage of what? Dosage? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here? Looking like that. I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. 
You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? <laughs> About your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. I will not. Why not? <laughs> because I won't. Ugh, fine. I'm gonna have to get used to this look. I fear you would eventually grow tired of the other form as well. I just wanted to change my look a little. Think of it as a haircut. Pretty drastic haircut. <laughs> Alright, uh, how is so related to the Kumaguras again? I looked into that. Before driving. I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Okay, uh, do tell me more. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. Did look pretty fancy. But 20 years ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere. In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. Oh, really? He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? Insurance fraud. The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, Sosajima purchased all of the land back for just one billion yen. That's so highly So he's got sus. twenty-nine billion yen in his pocket and one billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sejima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. I'd say 29 billion is a decent fact. amount of something. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Uh-oh. Interrupting phone call. We'll have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Okay. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. Hmm. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon. Before Renju was killed. In other words, 
You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Well, oh, that's there's interesting. To this? I don't know. Number 89, huh? We're at Lemniscate. Oh, Ugh, this Dante. guy. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. The corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that... Was Mizuki's mom? Mizuki saw her own mom, and I just, I just left her. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. But I didn't know. I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry. Have you been nowhere just doing my normal routine i don't know your normal routine i went to a dojin store to look at the new releases and i ate some ramen at juro's and then headed over to the pc cafe to browse threads you know normal he's an otaku that's normal i haven't had a normal day in my life he is a very intense otaku as you can see uh about mizuki Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. They're roommates. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, uh, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. <laughs> what kind of novels are you writing, kid? Fanfics. Smutty, smutty fanfics, apparently. About Renju's case. I, I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Nota, you're my thrall. Go you to don't Horny Jail. Tell Iris, your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal. I just. You better start talking. Okay. Okay, uh, about Renji's case. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um... <laughs> Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. <laughs> okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Tessa has nothing to do with this! She wouldn't murder anyone, she wouldn't hurt a fly! She's an idol! Idols don't kill people! You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. She's so Tessa human. is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. Uh, a savior? The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And 
I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. And it was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. <laughs> yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. That's a lot of stuff other people are saying and not Tessa herself. Uh, slow down. I didn't say Iris was the murderer. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. What? Do it for Iris. What time did Renju and Iris leave the building? Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Oh, hey, Iris. Date. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Hmm? Long time no see. Police headquarters, Sunday, 8.23 p.m. Oh, hey, boss. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. Alright, do you have an alibi for last night? What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iba, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. Well, with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris' story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... Can I ask your mom about your alibi? I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom was at home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know? Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Alrighty. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? That is suspect. Uh, when did you find out Renju was killed? When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. 
And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Hmm. You used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. About the surveillance camera. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Dodged it. Is Ota's story true? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15pm, you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okiura called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Okay. What were you doing with Renju? What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were gonna be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Okiura. At 6.15 p.m. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okiura to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Aiba? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. It's too perfect. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. You see? Alright, Iris could have killed Renju because... Uh, let's see... The... Iris could have choked Renju Autopsy. to death. If you are searching for proof of this, you will not find it here. Mm. Renju's corpse was discovered at the maid cafe Sunfish Pocket. Hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. Oh wait, he was sedated. That's right. The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. He wouldn't have put up much of a fight. A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. 
he wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But she didn't do it but with her strength alone. with a little ingenuity, alone. it could be done. Who's the case? Ingenuity. Show. It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then... What do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? Uh, Relevance. And... I think it was the oil drum oil inside drum. Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. We found Renju's watch inside Empty. the oil drum. It weighs drum. approximately 44 pounds. Do you know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. And he Are would you know. mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um, who are you talking to? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? Wh where is this coming from? If only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? Because of the weight of the elevator! Sunfish Pocket is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. 
at 8.55 p.m. The total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. So we need to show that. There are others. Renju's weight. Renju weighs approximately 160 pounds. Need one more clue. Uh, show. Iris, on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310, this doesn't look good. Why are you... Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... Dante, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. Hmm. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. She's fidgeting around. Is she doing something under the desk? Is she texting That's somebody? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Can't tell from this angle. Iris in the mirror. She is texting someone. Ah, shit. Oh, to save me, they're accusing me of a lot of stuff. They think I did it. It's okay. Stay calm. I'm here for you. Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris. She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. All right, we're going in sync. We're going into her brain. Iris is experiencing remnants. Medication is working perfectly. How about it, Dante? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. So before time is up. I know. Then, let's begin. <laughs> Gives Pewter the stink IQ late. Yeah, we don't like Pewter here. Flashing warning. Well, this is a lot different. What is this place? I'm going to do a quick save first because Somnium tends to get a little screwy with our saves and crashes the game a lot. So we're pre we're going to do a lot of preemptive saving. How is this related to Iris? Unknown. 
But there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? Somnium skin! Activate! Looks like a warehouse. Mental lock one. Discover Iris's secret, a mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. You may be able to find their truth. Sinking in the vein. Alright, look at the blood, watch the murder. What? Okay, uh... TV? A CRT TV. Uh, oh no, both of them are bad timies. Uh, hit? Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so... Hmm. What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. Much. Alright, we hit the mouse. Ah, oh, we got a negative timing. Uh, there is a mirror here. A full body mirror. All of these are negative timies, Jesus. Or, wait, no. Um, there's talk, punch. It's showing us what timies we get, but it would take a hundred seconds. Yikes. Uh, let's go with punch. That's the least are amount of time sure it would take. you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. I don't see how that's relevant. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Okay. Five minutes Full left, body Doctor. Mirror. Okay, let's use the half-timey to... Talk. Iba, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm taking care of Date. He's so troublesome. Oh, I understand. He can't do anything without you, can he? Yeah. Cut it out! <laughs> Alright, we gotta blow it up, is our... A full body... seconds. Can we really afford that? Not really. Well, let's look at some other things. Oh, there's a gun! A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. I mean, it's real like, as it can be. Uh, look down the barrel. Remove. Shoot. Uh, let's go with down the barrel. It's dark. Why not bring your face closer? Hmm. Not what I meant. Thought she meant by look down the barrel. Okay, this is giving me anxiety. I don't like this. I thought it meant like... Bang! <laughs> no, I cannot see anything. <laughs> oh. Did you say something? I didn't think you'd fall for that. I'm sorry? I'm sorry too. <laughs> Jeez, alright. Four minutes. A revolver. 
All right, let's shoot it. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. All right, where are we going to find a bullet? Medicine shelf. I see many objects in the room. Uh, smell, investigate. Uh, let's investigate the uh, the bottle. appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream. Interesting. But we must continue. Iris, what is in your head? We blew up a frog. Alright, tear and stab it. Operating table, mirror door reference book it appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures uh let's rip it that will be difficult with it being this thick We ripped the butterfly. The butterfly effect. I suppose that is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. Okay. So, tear and stab. So, uh, operating table? An operating table. Sleep or investigate? If we investigated it, it gives us a negative timey. Uh, let's check the locker. Just a locker. Uh, let's open it. Was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. The Delta Princess? Booby trapped. I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. All right. Uh, let's go get that knife. The knife that flew out of the locker. Uh, Sepaku. No. Uh, pushing it in. Hmm. Let's do throw. Like this? What? I only threw it lightly. We stop the bird. Oil drum, television, and torso. I think Interesting. I'm starting to see the picture. I do not yet understand it. We tore the butterfly. Shoot and kill. Three minutes, Dante. All right, I am going to take a minute to. Uh, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to save. Preemptive save. Alright, we need to shoot and kill. Let's go check out that torso. 
A naked torso. Uh, punch, choke, or talk. Uh, no. Let's see, it looks like the TV is in shooting range now. A revolver. So let's shoot it this time. I do not see any bullets inside. Oh wait, that's right. There was no bullets. All right, I'll give it a shot. We can't shoot unless we have something to shoot As I with. Thought, this will not work. I'm dumb. We need a bullet. We still need a bullet. Uh, maybe there's one in the oil drum. An oil drum. Uh. Oh no. We don't have any timies. Uh, look inside. We're gonna have to eat a 60. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Maybe you can use them in that gun? Alright, I guess we took the bullets. Less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. A revolver. Now we take it and shoot it. Shoot. Can we use the bullets we found earlier? Yes, yes we can. Also, Iris, why is this in your Somnium? I'll try shooting it. You have much to answer for, Iris. Think. Ugh. That's really weird. Who is kissing so? That what? What? That was a nasty sound too. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that. That made me uncomfortable. Achievement unlocked. Vain as disassociated persona. Shoot the cat. We made it through the Somnium without dying of to because of the game breaking. Day three, Sunday. What happened during that Somnium? I'm gonna save real fast. And uh, we are going to take a quick break. Uh, if you need to get up and use the restroom or get a drink, go ahead and do that now. Uh, I will be back in a couple of minutes. Oh, we don't know that for sure. She may have. But, uh... We saw the whole thing... The person who was kissing the senator was not identified, so it could have been her, it could have been something she saw. We don't know. The monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. 
That means that Iris... She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him, too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. You can't use the word smooch. Why not? Why not? <laughs> so we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. We were silent for a time. While I was deep in my thoughts, I heard Pewter speak. Date, Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed back to the sink room next door. Yeah, we didn't exactly answer any questions. Did you need to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Um... How are you feeling? I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Uh... Do you know a politician named So Sejima? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. About the Nile message with Ota. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. Wouldn't tell anybody about that thing, not even I if they tell tortured anyone about me. That thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba. Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, it's Konami Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. Mine too. So, what are you going to do? Uh, do you remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience song right. as you do. Iris would not know about it. Uh, sink machine. Is there anything else? 
else? Sink chair. Nothing super really of interest. Door? Past that door is actually another door that will take you to the six, se seven, that sixth basement floor of the government center. All right, head to Matsushita Diner. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Something that I've noticed. She's talking weird. We met her in the other, uh, in the other route, and uh, she talked a lot more high pitched, like this. She's not doing that. Matsushita Diner, Sunday, nine forty-six p.m. It's like, yeah, she was manipulative as heck, but she also did that. Tessa, thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not, but you better keep your promise. Hmm. Pardon. All right. I guess you bought a new cell phone. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. Okay. Uh, where is your mother? She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? Yes. Uh, did I keep you waiting? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. What? As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. <laughs> Wouldn't happen anyway. Uh-huh. Keep dreaming, uh, Date. About that thing in the Nile message. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Yeah, you didn't think that was us? Date. Will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo. You're acting sus, kid. Yikes. Day four, Monday. Uh, my head's pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Five hours? Oh, it's a Yikes. Guy, didn't he? That was quite the bonk. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know. But afterward, he ran off the virus. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. <laughs> Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! One does not simply walk to Mordor. Very funny. You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! wrong did something happen no everything's fine that's odd okay let's go oh, 
Does she not notice the body on her floor? Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry? You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I going to report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... No. Just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Oh, yikes. Iris. Ah, uh, that's an ice saw. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus! We need to get to the site, now! Kept my foot to the gas the whole time. I could feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised to a high-pitched scream, but I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the very core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. That's a polar bear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's... That's not good. <laughs> that's unbearable. Tessa! Hold on! I'll save you! Hota! Away from Tessa! Uh! Date, we've almost reached the destination. Please, please let me make it in time. You think I to set it up? Harbor Warehouse District, Monday, 3.17 a.m. Two cars. Ota's bleeding? You okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Well, they did say backup was on the way, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Police headquarters, Monday, 9.34 a.m. the next day. Or no, the same day. Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. 
They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Um, let's see as I found anything at the warehouse. It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. Uh, about so. So, Sejima? He was an Iris Asomnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. About Okiura Fishery. You should ask Aiba about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiura Fishery is owned by the Okiura we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. Okay. I want to hear from a representative of the Ogier fishery. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family, too. Oh, speaking of... Hey, boss. Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? We did leave her at uh, Jeez, Marble. Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? We just abandoned her yes, there. Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. I'd be. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. About Iris and Ota. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Was he stabbed? Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. Yikes. Have you, have you contacted Hitomi and Mayumi? Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Alright. Let's go check it out. Uh, we've got a lot of options to start with. So we've got the Cold Storage Warehouse, we've got Mount Tsushita Diner, Sejima Residence, uh, Central Hospital, and the Date Residence. Let's start with the beginning. Cold Storage Warehouse. Your sus of Mayumi? She just stood there for a solid 30 seconds? Yeah, she didn't even notice there was a body on her floor. I'd say that's pretty sus. Harbor Warehouse District. Two cars. Two cars. 
These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. Yeah, when we got there. One van and one station wagon. A uh, police officer asked him about the investigation, but there's been no progress. Barrier. Red li barrier line wraps around the scene. They used to use yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Sometimes we still use the good old-fashioned yellow tape. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! Okay. So Ota's probably... fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. Okie dokie. Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Alright. Uh, van owned and... Uh, Ota's fingerprints were found in the driver's seat and Iris's on the passenger's seat. Ota's cell phone fell out underneath the uh, driver's seat. Uh, what about this the station, station wagon? wagon? Is a stolen car. It's a stolen car. Stolen. Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10:33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. Who leaves, sir? The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Who leaves their car unlocked and running? Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. What? The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Why? Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. So they drove to the stream of the vehicles? polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. Alright. Are you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? I All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. Any progress on the investigation? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Well, I'm asking if you found anything, not nothing. Uh, oil drum? It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamaguro. But... What part of her looks like a metal tube? Oil drum. Probably not a clue this time. Shelves with boxes. Cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on the scene and he said there wasn't anything special in them. There's a dark spot over there. 
The shadows on the left catch my eye. Shadows on the left? Square object. Huh. There's something there. You should go pick it up. I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. Yeah. Nothing else? Doesn't seem to be anything else that we can look at in the shadow. Um, I'm not sure, Belias. It might be. I actually haven't played Daganronpa, which is apparently a travesty. So I don't know anything about the Daganronpa universe. I don't know anything of the story. I have no, have no clue. Uh, do you have a family, Inspector? No, unfortunately, I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? What? Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Should sure, we just ask him on a date? I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss later. Uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. <laughs> uh, what's your name? <laughs> Good one, Date. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. That's coming back to me. It has something to do with... glass? <laughs> Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. Yeah, but what's your name? Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like... Oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? What's your name? You still don't know. No, not yet, but I I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters... Kodaka. Right? Not even close! But what's your name? Do you want me to just tell you? No, I no, give me a hint. I want to piss you off, is it what I want to do. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Um, is it... Kaniza? Yeah, sure, man, that's my name. <laughs> but what is it? His name is Kaniza. It's not, it's Kagami. Probably born between June 22nd and July 22nd. That's my friend Kaniza! Uh, we just saw a Mono Monokuma bear in the picture on the bag. They are the bad guys. Oh, well, maybe it is in the same universe. Don't know. I'll have to check it out. I, um, I've heard about it quite a few times. Um, I might put it on my list of stuff to play at some point. I hope it is a good game. Alright, uh, we see each other a lot, don't we? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Yeah, it's... Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> huh. Yeah, thinking the same thing. Don't have to be a girl. It can still be the start of something good. Uh, any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. 
uh, doing his duties as usual. Alright, bloodstain. That must be Ota's blood. That's where he was stabbed and went down. Okay. Cardboard box on the floor. Nothing in it. Shh, box on the wooden shelf. On the shelf. It's empty. Shelves. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? Two different games from Spike Chunsoft that Mon Monokuma was just a cameo. That makes sense. I mean, um, Capcom Games does the same with like RE3, like the herbs and stuff that they do. Um, so there's a lot of cameos across similar games by the same stuff. Words are hard. Um, cameos across the same uh, game developers. There we go. That machine ice cutting is used machine. to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any That's fingerprints? Convenient. Nothing. Any rare prints? No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. What about paw prints? This entire prints? warehouse is clean. I see. What about fur? Did you find any fur? Ice cutting machine. It's been over here a while, so it wasn't moved. Well, that's frustrating. 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. Okay. Awfully convenient that he was there. This is the workbench Iris was lying on. I can't find any clues here. What about a the video equipment? camera and laptop? This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. Okay. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. That's not good. <sighs> Bless you. Ah, <sighs> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. Uh, let's go to Matsushita Diner. Monday. Um, who might you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. I gave you my card. Oh. So how can I help you? I'm gonna save real quick because I haven't saved in a while. Um. About last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. Ota. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Not both your eyes? Uh, well... Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What kind of dream, I wonder? It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me, and he 
he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Photo. Oh, this? As she spoke, she turned the photo toward me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to look at it again. What the hell is this face? Oh, mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. Where's his but mouth? Where's his eyes? Were always smiling. They were so a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling and that's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, that's very nice, Mayumi. the Odoroki man chocolate. Just to be sure, I decided to ask her about the Odoroki man chocolate I found at the warehouse. I took it out of my pocket to show her. Do you know anything about this chocolate? Oh, you like Odoroki man? Yes, actually. I was hooked on them at one point. My Ota loves them too. When he was younger, he used to collect all the stickers. He was the best at it. Hmm. Uh, where is your husband? Oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita Takaro. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Oh my. What? What is going on here? Ma'am, did you know your husband is dead? Are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? I suppose, yeah. Let's look at her with thermal. Her brain. Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments were coming from. Can she run a diner like that? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Matsushita Diner is near the Kapasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. 
patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally. Does Naomi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. I can't believe it. That's rough. Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Naomi stood and went to the kitchen. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. She's in the kitchen. Looks like she's cutting vegetables or something. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the Sujima residence. That's sad. How did you get in? Hopped over the fence. That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. Uh, about your connection with the Kumakuras. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Iba. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. Uh, where were you at 3 a.m. this morning? Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. Bridge. Okay. Do you know Iris Sagan? I don't. Who is that? I showed him the picture of Iris I had. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. Uh, he's feeding the koi in the pond. Uh, what is your boss's business with the Kumakuras? I don't know anything. Even if I did, I couldn't tell you. I'm sworn to confidentiality. Okay. Uh, about So's alibi. Congressman Sajima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several. But for some reason, they are all powered off. What? There is no image data for the past few days. Really? That's sus. That's too suspicious to ignore. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So, Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay. I didn't want to get rough. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. Are I'd they like to see humans? you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. Uh, let's x-ray you. That's not a dong, that's a gun. This guy is a handgun. You're not supposed to have handguns in, uh, and Japan. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. 
I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> are you finished? If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. Okie dokie. I guess it is time. Let's go to Central Hospital, check up on Ota and Iris. Central Hospital. Are you okay? Hey, Mayumi. Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. Oh, good. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. That's good. About your alibi. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about... all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect to tell me? Not necessarily, but... But what? Do you know anything about Iris and So? So, Sejima? The politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Okay, uh, about Ota. I am so thankful for Ota. No, words don't even do it justice. Ota saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Ota didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. Hmm. About Ota again. Ota was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. About Iris. She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. Goodbye. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Alright, let's head out. Last place to go is Date's residence. Looks like a... Looks like a warehouse?
you think it was Mayumi? Hey, Mizuki, could you take a break? I want to ask you something. 25 kg. Swole girl. You were mad at Ota. Alright, time for a uh, preemptive save again. Alright. You're mad at me, aren't you? Yep, she's mad. Where's the officer who dropped you off? I'm still not talking. About the fishery. I'm still not talking. About Ota and Iris. Ugh. Okay, I guess we'll apologize. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. That is sexist. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. <laughs> I'm attractive? Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. Not with that That's why sense. you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My girlfriend is a ninja. No, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Um, where's the officer? Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. Boob equalism! Or what they call a tit man. <laughs> uh, about Okiara Fishery. Okiara Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. Okay. What kind of person was your grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yup. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Huh? By the time he was ten, he was catching fish with his bare hands. What? And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa <laughs> was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. That part's probably too. That can't be true. But there's a part of me that's thinking, maybe? After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. I believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff that's not explained about her speed and her strength. About Ota and I Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Iris and Ota came out of it okay. They'll both live. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. Okay. Say goodbye. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you! No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. It was one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, 
Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. And I got mad and... I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. What? I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. We're starting right now. Get ready. Why the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I'm going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. What Follow these four an rules, accent? and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? <laughs> I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am master. <laughs> I think that's a good place to uh, call it quits for the night. We'll pick this up again on Thursday at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, that has been uh, AI Somnium Files, and uh, we're making good progress with that. It has been fun. I've been enjoying it. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. Um, it's been going absolutely haywire. It's just non-stop. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, the schedule change uh, is going to continue for this week and for the foreseeable next couple of weeks. So, the calendar here is a little out of date. I am going to keep that updated on the Google Calendar on my Twitch About page. So, um, what happened was I joined a community band and... Um, since we've got a concert coming up soon uh, practice has been every Tuesday during my normal stream slot which is why I'm now streaming on Mondays during that slot so after the concert it's going to go back to being rehearsal every other Tuesday so on the weeks that I have rehearsal I will be streaming on Monday on the weeks I don't have rehearsal it will still be on Tuesday so Wait, did I say Tuesday twice? No. When I do have rehearsal, it will be Monday. When I don't have rehearsal, it will be Tuesday. Okay. Cool. Anyways. Uh, and then Thursday and Saturday streams are the times that are listed. Um, like I said at the beginning of stream, uh, we will be doing Sea of Thieves on Saturday. And... Uh, that might be an extra long stream depending on how far I get in my pirate legend journey. So anyways, uh, I hope you had a great time watching this stream. I hope you have been enjoying the game. I definitely have been enjoying playing it for you. And stick around after the credits to join the raid to the next streamer. Thanks for joining and uh, have a great night. Sleep well, my lovelies.